Berry Luthiambo from Kamreli village in Suba North County is nursing serious injuries after her husband chopped off her hand accusing her of failing to bear him children. Police are yet to arrest the husband even as Suba North MP Mili Uthiambo accused police of laxity. Beryl Luthiambo's case only adding to the statistics of growing incidents of violence in Thiwa, Lambwe and Suba counties of Homa Bay County. Nimeoleka huko Kabwat na huyo bwana yangu jina lake ni William Butian. Na alinikata mkono. Sababu ni mtoto nimesaka mwezi sita na sijapata mtoto. Mm. Mwezi ama miaka. Miaka sita. She was attacked by the husband because she's childless. So I've come here today and uh, found out that it is true. Uh, there was a catalytic, catalytic event. Meanwhile, licensed firearm holders in central Kenya have been cautioned against misusing their firearms in the wake of an increase in crime in the region. Central Regional Co coordinator Wilson Jenga issued the warning to civilians following the killing of six people allegedly through gun attacks. Kama wewe una unamiliki buduki kinyume ya sheria. Katambiliana na wewe kwa sababu ni security agencies peke yake ambao wako na hiyo. Kama wale watu binafsi ambao wako na firearm rights. Lakini wewe ukiwa na yako badia, sasa tutakufuata. In Samburu County, six people are nursing injuries at a Samburu hospital following a road accident at Nomotio along the Maral Losuk Road. The driver of the ill-fated lorry is said to have lost control of the vehicle before the accident happened. <laughs> Elsewhere, over 1,200 litres of illicit brews have been seized at Koponda area in Jomvo constituency as authorities in the area intensify crackdowns of illicit brewers. Among the seized illicit brews are 540 litres of Chang'a and 800 of Kangara. Three suspects were arrested during the operation. Finally, a Muslim lobby group is pushing for the extension of visa applications deadline for those seeking to travel to Saudi Arabia for Hajj by a further three weeks to the 2nd of August. Association of Haji and Umrah in Kenya says prevailing economic hardships as well as current events in the country have complicated and made it hard for a section of Muslims to acquire the important documents ahead of tomorrow's deadline. As we talk now, there are some African countries have who have requested for extension and they were given extension we are also following the same bar, same same route extend we are asking for extension and we are hopeful that the day will probably in most likely that they will consider our request Jackie Wambiru, channel 1